What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, today we have another NG Models unboxing video for you guys. If you do enjoy it, be sure to leave a like. And if you would consider subscribing, it really does help me um, or help support me. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the unboxing. Um, I do know which one this is, but as I mentioned in the last one, I'm going to be um, trying to keep the unboxing video sort of as a surprise so it's not like okay I already know what the model is I don't want to watch the rest of the video you know so you kinda just gotta wait it out and see but um I think you guys like that version better cause you actually get a little bit or somewhat of a surprise you don't know what it is right at the start but you know okay okay yeah okay Ow. Then flip it that way. I'm terrible at opening boxes, as you can imagine. Or tell, actually. Okay. That should do it. There we go. So it just comes in your standard paper. Um, let's see. That is sign. Oh, jeez. Okay. Here we go. A few moments later. All right. There is the model with all that paper aside all right so here is the model it is the ng star alliance 737-800 in the new livery um as i mentioned these do fly to denver so it was kind of a big want or need um for my airport um but yeah let's start off with the box art um all right at the top we have boeing 737-800 then we have the computer generated model and then we have the big star alliance logo going across the box and then star alliance written all caps right here then ng's logo and then one 400 scale diecast collectible model then we have united's logo with the registration which is n14219 and then hold on, let's look at this side Boeing 737-800 NG with the computer generated model and the registration once again. And then we have the United logo and NG's logo and then Boeing 737-800. Boeing 737-800 NG computer generated model. And then Boeing 737-800 NG United's logo. So um, yeah, let's get straight into the unboxing. Ooh, I like this box. It comes out easier than the other ones. So you can see the plastic is right there. Okay. There is the aircraft. Hopefully it's not broken. As I mentioned in the last unboxing, I have yet to get a broken NG model, which is very exciting. And I would like to give a shout out to NG for that. And we keep that streak once again. No broken parts. We're going to start off with the front half of the model and then we will move um, towards the back um, progressively. But starting off at the front, we have the nose cone. Then we have the uh, cockpit windows with the Star Alliance logo. Then we have the L1 boarding door with the new, e I don't know if it's called Evo, Evo Blue or Eco Blue, but whatever one that is, Eco Blue, I'm just going to go with that. United logo with the red antenna down here. Then we have the um, first landing gear here with a bunch of detail as you can see on the landing gear. Then we have the blue engines and you can see the start of the Star Alliance um, logos right here. So Star and then it goes to Alliance. Um, if you're not aware, Star Alliance is their um, brand. So just like there's 
Um, the other ones I actually, oh, Sky Team. Like that's Delta and then like a few other airlines. So it's a bunch of airlines combining into one group, basically. If I could put that as easy as possible. Uh, if we go a little further back, you can see we have the another antenna on top with the big Wi-Fi box. And then you can see the rest of the wording here, Alliance. And then we have the two wings right here. Um, the blue winglets look absolutely fantastic. Let me try to zoom in or let me try to focus on that. Yeah. So yeah, they look very, very good in this model. And so far, I would 10 on 10 recommend it. All right, so let's go back a little bit all the way towards the back. Let me just go like that. All right, so let me focus. There we go. All right, so here is... If we go a little further back, there's the rest of the Alliance. And then we have the registration, which I mentioned earlier on the box. I do not remember it off the top of my head. If you want to go see what it is, you can rewind. Um, actually, I have it right here. It's N14219. That is the registration for this aircraft. And if I am correct, this aircraft is flying at the moment. Then we have the... Um, uh, last, the last door where they usually do catering and stuff. And we have the two horizontal stabilizers, which are metal, not plastic, like Gemini's. Then we have the all black tail with the Star Alliance logo posted on the tail. So, and then we have, oh yeah, one more thing. We have the, I don't know if you can see it, but right there, there's a little bump. That's in case you pull up the aircraft too early and then the tail strike is what they call it so that piece will help not damage the aircraft all right here is the aircraft um, zoomed out a little bit so here's the entire aircraft as you can see it does have the Star Alliance um, logo and this is a extremely gorgeous model and I would 10 on 10 highly recommend it to you guys um, as I mentioned I am currently on vacation right now so most of these uploads will be scheduled uploads or pre-recorded basically but I do have a trip report coming soon for that vacation so that will be exciting. Um, one more thing I wanted to cover was the bottom of the aircraft. Let me actually zoom out a little bit more. Like Alright, so it's not a whole lot of detail, it's pretty much your standard Euro white on the bottom, but there are two red antennas right here, and NG does not put their logo on the planes like Gemini does, so I really do like that, because um, we already know who we're buying it from, it's on the box, we don't need it posted on the airplane, um, but then you can see the cargo door down there, um, another cargo door right there with another ramp, oh, that's not on yeah, that is a red antenna right there. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the bottom of the aircraft. Let's zoom back in here. Um, so, yeah, if you guys don't have this, I would 10 on 10 recommend it to you guys. It is a very, very good model with very, very good detail. Even on the wings, if I tilt it that way, you can see the detail on the wings is fantastic. And if you do have an airport that United flies to, this would be a great model to put in your um, video every once in a while. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell so you do not miss future uploads. It will notify you when I upload again. And the next video will be an airport update once I get back from my vacation. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.